We've got two birds taking off from the same branch. Let's make this the branch here. And bird A flies due west, five feet per second. Um, and bird B flies due south at seven feet per second. Now, X is the distance flown by bird A, and Y is the distance burn flown by bird B. Now, um, we have a function of f of t where t is in time in seconds. Well, if x is the distance that the bird flew, uh, bird a flew, and they flew five feet per second, then really x is the same thing as five t, five feet per second times t seconds. Y then is going to be seven feet per second times t. That's the distance, and I'm finding distance because f of t measures the distance between them. Well, the distance between them is this distance here. Well, you can see that this makes a right triangle. Uh, and Pythagorean theorem works on the distances, not the speed. So make sure you, you have that in your mind when you're talking about um, Pythagorean theorem. So really we have 5t is the distance, 7t is the distance. We want those, not x and y, because we want a function of t. So Pythagorean theorem says that the distance between them is going to be 5t squared plus 7t squared and the square root of that. Well, that's going to give us 25t squared plus 49t squared. That's the same thing as 74t squared. And then we can break up the radical. 74 the square root of t is just t. And that is question C.